This is a tutorial for the app Writing Prompts. Writing Prompts is an app that gives you many different options of what to write about when you're not sure what you should write about during free write time or journaling time. When you first log on to um, the Writing Prompt app, it'll ask you to shake the iPad or swipe it for a writing prompt. Now I think it's kind of fun to shake the iPad in order to get a writing prompt. So you simply need to take it, give it a good shake, and it'll give you a writing prompt. In this case, it is a scene. They have a place, which would be in a pile of hay, a character, which is a train engineer, an object, an old camera, and a timer date, autumn 2005. You would use all of these characteristics to write a story in writing prompt. If this is something that interests you, you can click Add to Notes. Click Add, Edit, and I've noticed for whatever reason, if you click the backspace once, it does pop up. You are then free to write about this place. Now, it does have something else from before, but we can simply get rid of that. All right, let me show you a couple other features. I'm not going to save it. If this is a writing problem that doesn't interest you, you can look down at the bottom of your screen and it gives you a variety of choices. One other thing is your favorites. If you ever favorite a certain writing prompt, you can come back to this, but we haven't done that yet. We've looked at scenes, which gives you a place, character, object, and time and date in order to write your writing prompt. Another option is sketches. If you click on sketches, it'll give you a few couple of pictures in order to write a prompt. So they want you to write three paragraphs in this case using each of the three pictures. You would click add to notes and edit and then start typing. Another option is the text feature, and it just simply gives you a standard writing prompt. In this case, it's write a letter to a friend. Now, if you don't like the option that they give you in a certain category, you can shake the iPad or simply just swipe your finger to get a new one. Now, the option here is a garden scarecrow quietly observes its surroundings. You can keep going until you find a prompt that you like. Another option is words. You click on words, it'll give you a few words like in here, kind hearted, imagine, harsh, force, and alert. And using all of these words, you can write a writing prompt, trying to include all the words into your paragraphs. Again, if you do not like the words are given, you can simply just slide over. Another option is new. Now, this is a neat one because this will actually take you to an actual article on the internet. So if this is something that interests you, you can tap on here to go to the actual article. And you can read the article. And then go back to the writing prompt to write about. All right, let's say that we went to text. A 45-year-old classical music critic falls for a 17-year-old piano player hailed as a prodigy. All right, let's hit add to notes. Hit add. No. You'll be able to hit edit. Remember, hitting the backspace for whatever reason helps it come back. Hit return a few times. And you can type your response. When you are done writing your response, you hit email. Please make sure that in your subject line of the email, you say who you are. So in, if this was Susie who was writing, you want to write Susie so that I know that it was you. 
Now, for the to section, you need to type in my email, which is Kominsky. K at Prince of Peace School dot org. Hit send and then it will be sent to me and I will be able to grade your work. Now, let's go back for a final few options. This up here is just a settings key depending on how you like your settings. So, if you swap talking about swiping to get to a new um, prompt, the number of um, prompts to keep. So this one might be interesting to change since we notice that it is keeping many of your prompts and it, the lowest number you can pick is 10 but you could keep going if you really liked what you said you had previously written um let's see there are other options and you can go through them on your own in order to determine what you like best if you have pictures on your ipad you can click on the camera and it'll give you an option to let's see leave the camera is supposed to give you an option to write uh, write about a picture on your iPad I'm not sure why that's not working the loose leaf paper just goes back to what you had already written before the question mark is if you need any help it gives you advice on how to use the app The dollar sign is if you want to buy more of the writing prompt packs, so you probably won't be using that one. And this here button is to save it to your favorites, like I had mentioned earlier. So if this was a prompt that you were interested in, you could click on the star, and now at the bottom it, it shows that it is saved as one of your favorites. If you have any other questions, please make sure to see Ms. Kaminsky on how to use this app. Thank you.